guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a complete and total review of the Hermes Herbag two-in-one backpack and tote bag. So this is actually a bag that's interchangeable between a backpack and a tote. And I'm gonna do a complete review, all of the details and specs of this bag. I'll also you know, do some modeling shots and I'll also show you exactly how to interchange from this bag to the other one. Um, there's really no videos about this. I, I feel like nobody really talks about this bag that much, so I thought this video would be good to put out there just to be you know, really, really informative. And then I will also go over with you guys my honest opinions about this, what I you know think about this. I have been wearing it a lot over the last month. Um, I unboxed it about a month ago, and I've really, really been trying to wear it mostly more on the weekends, sometimes in the evenings, but I've been trying to use it a lot just so I could have a really good honest opinion. So let me just talk about the specs first and um, towards the end I'll get into exactly what my real, real honest thoughts are about this. So if you aren't already subscribed, I would really love for you to consider subscribing by hitting that red button down below since I do put out two to three videos every single week, a lot about luxury stuff, um, but also fashion and sometimes beauty. So I would love to have you back. So let me get into the details and specs of this bag. So I did get this from Vestier Collective and it is just like a really nice pre-loved website. This is extremely vintage. This is from 1999, I believe. So it's almost 20 years old. I think it's in fabulous condition. Um, yeah, they definitely said it's in ex excellent condition. This is leather up here. In the light, you can kind of see some, not like scuffs, but kind of, um, but for the most part, I feel like I don't ever really notice them, but when I when these lights are hitting the bag, that's when I notice it, but then when I'm actually carrying the bag, I don't really see that. But anyway, this is canvas down here, and then, um, yeah, up here is leather. This is the size 28. The dimensions are 11 inches this way, and then 14 inches high, and then 4.7 inches wide or deep. So for me, I think this is a perfect perfect size. I absolutely love this size. I'm so, so happy that I did pick the size 28. I think it fits perfectly on my back. It's not too big, but it's not too small either. I feel like there's a lot of backpacks out there where I feel like that one's just really, really big and that one's just like way too many. Um, so I do really think that this size is perfect. Um, and then back here, there is this gorgeous, gorgeous Hermes lock. Um, it there, it mine actually does not come with a key, but you really don't like use this as an actual lock anyway. I really do love the lock detail, and I love this clochette detail as well. I just really think it gives some nice interest to the bag. Um, it's just yeah, it's just a really nice detail. And then back here are the leather straps, and yeah, so I think the bag overall is gorgeous. I'm I seriously love the way it looks. I love how a lot of people do not have it. I feel like there's a lot of backpacks out there that people like just so many people have and to be honest I want those too like I really like the ones that everyone have has too but there is something to be said for a nice black backpack that I feel like it's really carefree I can kind of I can set it on the ground I can you know put it anywhere I want and I feel like it's not gonna get dirty it's not gonna show anywhere or anything but at the same time, there's so many people that do not have it. And um, I just, I don't know. I just, I just really like that aspect of the bag. So to open it, you actually just go like this and then open it like that. So that is how you open the bag. And I do have it stuffed. As you can see, I have a water bottle in there. I have diapers. I have my, some SLGs in there. I have like kids, like snacks and everything. So I definitely pack this pretty darn full and it definitely has shown me that I love a backpack. Like I think that for me, I never used to think I would ever want a backpack, but this has pro proven to me that I really do want a backpack. Now, do I want this one? I don't know. Stay tuned to find out what my thoughts are on whether or not I actually want this one. So let me just show you how you close the bag. So. Anyway, to close the bag, you just go ahead and put it through there, put this down here, and then you just pull the leather straps like that, and then put it through here, pull the other leather strap, put that through here, and pull tight. Okay, so as you can see, I really don't think opening and closing it does take too long. Like, I, a lot of people really love the 
um, Louis Vuitton Montserrat backpack. And that is kind of similar. I mean, it's definitely in different closure, but you do have to cinch it and then you have to buckle it. And a lot of people love that backpack. And I honestly feel like this is a similar style. Like, granted, it's not a buckle, but you do have to cinch each side and then you just slide the leather tabs through this little hole. And it's honestly, it really doesn't take too long. So now I think I'm going to get into modeling shots and show you exactly what it looks like on me. Um, but I also wanted to mention that it does have this really nice top handle up here. This is, you know, it's very sturdy. It's very, you know, it's like leather. And I actually like, you know, I like carrying it on my back. I like carrying it, you know, with both leather straps. Sometimes I like carrying it with just one strap. But then I also really like carrying it just with the top handle. So I did just want to mention that really quickly before I do do the modeling shots just because I don't know it's like a nice drop and you know like my pochette Matisse um, you know top handle bags are you know kind of big right now they've always been big but sometimes on the go it is really nice to have this top handle bag and I honestly think it's really really cute if you guys follow me on Instagram um, I, I do have a photographer and I really like to post you know my luxury bags with my outfits and show how I style them so I would love for you to guys to follow me if you haven't but I recently did a photo shoot and I used this because you know I obviously carry this and a lot of the shots I found myself you know some of them were on my back but then some of them I was actually just carrying it like this and when I was going back through the pictures I was like wow that looks so nice just carrying it kind of like as a top handle bag and likewise um, that's really nice when I'm using this bag like the smaller tote but okay so let me just get into the modeling shots and then I'm going to show you how you interchange between this bag and this bag okay so here is the backpack on and like I said I seriously love I love the way it looks I think it looks so chic it's like casual but it's not casual um, it's comfortable yeah I really really like the sides and everything and I love carrying it even just like this I just think it's very you know, it's just very stylish. It's a very stylish backpack. And here it is like this. Just easy to kind of like grab on the go. I hope these modeling shots were definitely helpful. Like I said, this is a size 28 and I think it's the perfect size. So now I'm going to attempt, well not attempt, I'm going to attempt to do this on camera because normally I just do it on my table and it's really not hard. Um, so I'm going to show you how to interchange this to this and it's actually quite mechanical. It's really interesting. It's very, very sturdy. Like there's metal pieces and it just feels solid, but I've never really done it on camera and I'm not really sure if the angle will work or not. So I'm hoping this goes okay. If it doesn't, I'm obviously going to have to film it a different way, but okay. So to change out the bag, what you do is obviously open it and you're going to go like that. And as you can see right here, there is a long metal piece that kind of like holds the whole bag together. So what you do is you actually unscrew it. So you just unscrew this little screw right here. So then you just take it out and see how there's just a screw here. So I'm just going to set that down and I'm going to pull out the entire metal piece. So here we go. It is very, very sturdy. Um, it's not like too heavy, but it's definitely, you know, a long metal piece. So take that out and actually that's pretty much what holds the bag together. So since we took that out, you just pull out the leather um, strips and everything. And as you can see, this is like the top handle of the bag. And believe it or not, this actually comes out too, like the handles do. Um, just, just FYI, but I usually just leave them right in there. And you do just want to make sure you thread everything through the handles. So here's this piece, but we still have the long um, backpack handles to take off. So it is all one piece and I'm just going to pull those out. So those are in the bag. And when I first saw this, I was like, how the heck do you do this? Like, I didn't know what to do. Like, this was all just like trial and error for me. Um, so I was like pulling this and pulling this. And I'm like, why is this not like coming out? Like, I don't understand. And then I realized all you do is unscrew this. And it's like a screw too. And then you can pull the, the leather you know, pieces out. So again, just take that off. And as you can see here, now the backpack straps are free and you literally just pull this from the bag. So there you go. See, it's, it's quite, it's quite interesting. And like, like I said, nobody talks about this. So anyway, um, here is my backpack it is completely full of stuff and I'm actually 
What I think I'm gonna do is transfer some of the stuff into this bag, and that's purely to give it some weight and some structure to the bag. Um, it is like a very, it is like hard, not hard, but it is, um, you know, heavy duty canvas, but at the same time, I want it to just sit on my lap well, so I am gonna put a few things in there just to give it some weight. Lots of snacks for the kids, okay. So this is where I think it's going to get kind of complicated showing you guys the details. Maybe if I set it right here. Oh, yes, that's better. Okay, so what I'm going to do is put this back on to the bag. So as you can see, there is this like long metal thing. It's like a nose and I'm just going to put it right through the bag like this. And then we need this long metal strip again. And we're just going to fish it through. It's almost like sewing in a way. You just have to like thread it through. And it's really not hard. But like I, like I feel like this is going to look super awkward just because I'm trying to like do it on camera. But as you can see, there are, you know, like there's like pieces just to thread through. So I'm going to go like this. And here we go. Here's the first loop. I'm just going to make sure the handle goes through it. So put the handle through it slide it right through to the next section. So it's through the next section and then it's gonna come out this side, see how it's right there. Then I'm gonna put the handle right through that hole and here it is right there. So then all I do is push it through the final little section of the bag and voila. So you just push it the whole way through and it's the whole way through the bag. And it definitely, you know, puts everything together and gives it a lot more structure. So here is the little metal screw. It says Hermes Paris on it. Um, I really, really like that about the bag. I feel like every detail of the bag is just very intricate. So I'm just going to go ahead and screw that back onto this metal piece. There we go, there's most of the bag. It's pretty much done. All you really do is, you know, thread these through here. All you do is take these straps, and again, it's kind of like sewing. You actually just feed it back and forth through the holes along the side. So here's the other side, and as you can see, I'm just threading it back and forth between the holes here. So to close it, all you do is, again, just put this little metal piece through it, put this through it here, and then pull on these leather tabs like that, and then pull on the other leather tab, like that, and then put it right through the bag, pull on both sides, tighten it, and then voila! So it's really not that hard. This is a lot smaller. It's really, really cute. I And I do have, like, I have a water bottle in here, so um, that's why it looks like that. So yeah, as you can see, I think, you know, it's a lot smaller, but it's super, super cute. Here's the clochette here. So I do, like, this is, it's just gorgeous. Like, I really think the bag looks gorgeous. I love how, you know, there's just a lot of options to it. And to be totally 100% honest, that's took me about three minutes to do. Um, the first time, obviously, I had no idea what I was doing because I, I like, I, I literally had no instructions. Um, it, do, it does come with a booklet, and there was like, it's, like I said, it's from like 20 years ago, so there was, it definitely helped me a little bit, but for the most part, I was kind of, I just had like everything laid out on my dining room table, and I was kind of just trying to figure it out as I went, but but now I'm really fast at it. I don't think it's that hard to do. Um, but yeah, so I hopefully that was helpful. It really wasn't that bad. I hope it came across on the camera okay. But, but yeah, that is definitely how you transition. So now I'm gonna transition it back to the backpack because I wanna finish up my final thoughts and my honest opinion about this backpack. Okay, so my final thoughts on this bag. I love the way this bag looks. I love how it's vintage. I love how so many people do not have this bag. I, I love that it's black. I love that it doesn't show that much wear. So there are a lot, a lot, a lot of things that I do in fact love about this bag. It also proved to me that I do really love backpacks. I think that it's proven to me that I would use a backpack if I had one. So, um, but I guess I wanna let you guys know that even though I really don't think opening and closing this is terrible, I still find myself getting annoyed with it because I have kids. And I don't know if I would feel this way if I didn't have kids. But I find that when I use this, I'm putting so many of the kids' things in this bag. And, you know, they're like, I have a two-year-old and I have a four-year-old. 
he's almost five. But for the most part, like, they are asking me for a lot of different things. One kid saying, hey, can I have a snack? Hey, can I have some water? Hey, I'm hungry again. Hey, I need to go back to the car and, and get this out. And, and I don't know, I'm just like in and out, in and out, in and out of this way more than I feel like I would be if I didn't have kids, if that makes sense. So if I was just getting into this the normal amount, I don't think I would think that much of it. But the fact that I'm getting in and out of it so much and it does take not tons of time, but it is definitely more than just like a quick zip. That is why I feel like this particular backpack just isn't for me. So I am going to sell this. I, I feel like, yeah. I don't know. I like I just want to be honest. Like I I'm you know, I'm I'm going to do honest videos. I I'm I feel like a lot of my videos I'm raving about things because for the most part I genuinely love the handbags that I have. But this one, I love it in certain aspects, but in other aspects of like actually using it for, you know, my kids, it's just not practical for me. And when I see other people with like their Louis Vuitton Palm Springs backpack, or I don't even know, I can't even think of the other one. Sometimes there's, I see, uh, there's a Saint Laurent one that I think is gorgeous and it's like kind of like a quick turn style. There's a lot of different ones, but I can tell those ones are so much easier to get into. And for me, I just really, I don't know, I just guess I kind of want to get one like that. So I don't think that the Montserrat is for me either. Um, I loved that one for the longest time and I almost bought that one, but this has kind of proven that I don't think I would like that one either. Maybe I would, I don't know because I don't have it, but I do just want a very, very, very easy, carefree backpack, but I just don't think this is it. So I am going to sell this. I don't know if I'm gonna do like a full blown like vlog sale video because there's a couple other things I do wanna sell. So I don't know if I should just do a video um, talking about the things that I want to sell and if anybody wants it then they could reach out to me um, or if I should just you know do the Facebook groups like I've done in the past I don't know but I paid eleven hundred dollars for this so that is exactly what I'm gonna try to sell it for just because when I got it I thought it was a fabulous price because I kept seeing them listed for twelve hundred and usually when they were twelve hundred it didn't even come with the secondary bag or you know the, there was a mark on it or whatever so when I found it for eleven hundred dollars with everything like the box the ribbon everything and granted the box isn't fabulous but it's still like a, the complete set for eleven hundred dollars i was like so excited so i think that's a very fair price i'm not going to gain any money in fact i'll lose money after you know shipping it and everything but anyway that is what i'm going to do so if anyone's interested let me know but like i said i maybe i should just do like a full-blown video i don't know but anyway those are my thoughts i'm sorry i you know I'm not saying better things, but like I said, I just wanna be honest. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys found it you know, helpful, at least with you know all of the details and showing you exactly how to use it and everything and modeling shots. Um, thank you guys so, so, so much for watching and I will see you very, very soon in another video. Bye.